filming? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys, we're here in Western Park in Red Deer, Alberta to uh, go attend a swap meet. I came prepared. I brought my dad's trusty old dolly so that we can haul some heavier stuff. And uh, I just, I kind of wanted to find like uh, some old carburetors, like a four barrel would be nice, maybe a four barrel intake, um, a couple of extra distributors maybe. And just if there's anything that's like particularly valuable, a four speed transmission would be nice for my van, but I doubt they're gonna have that. But anyway, let's go take a look inside. Right, guys Liam back here so I have something to confess this is actually my first swap meet that I've ever been to uh, but we came out in full force to Red, to Red Deer which has a way bigger one than Saskatoon and I actually found some pretty good stuff for pretty decent prices uh, I had kind of a list in my head for like I think I want this stuff and kind of and I don't want to pay a lot of money like I'm not doing any big build or anything with the cars right now but I'll show I'm gonna probably start from least interesting to most interesting here but I found uh, this one I bought for a few bucks, a Plymouth Dodge armrest. I, w I bought it for the blue car because it has a torn one, but I actually think the pattern on this is different, so uh, it might not be that useful, but it was only a few bucks. I only realized that after I bought it, by the way. Uh, Would it fit in the truck? The tiny house truck? It might work on that, yeah. It's we'll the same color. It's the exact same color, yeah. And I bought this coil. I noticed Uncle Tony's Garage uses this coil on like a lot of his cars. And so I bought it just for a few bucks also in case. I think maybe the blue car would be nice to have this. Put set a wider spark plug gap. Um, I wanted to do some kind of like distributor modifications on the cars. That's pretty easy, but I don't want to mess up my distributor. So I have a V8 distributor with the eight points on the commutator. 
and I also have a Slant 6 distributor with six points on the commutator. Funny enough, I've never had them beside each other, so they're actually really different in size. But yeah, should be able to like modify these and play around with them without damaging my actual ones. Now, here is the piece de resistance of what I found on the one side of the building, which is I found a pretty nice thermo quad, and I think I bought it for 50 bucks. And it seems like the plastic on it is fine, which usually just breaks on them. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I want to use this, but I wanted to get a spread bore four barrel carburetor, and then it might go on the blue car or it might go on the van or something like that. But yeah, this was a nice find. I thought like this looks like it's in nice shape, so I'll give it a rebuild at some point, and we'll use it on something. Uh, but then as we were going around, uh, my wife pointed out that there's an entire other side to the swap meet. And we were running pretty low on time because we have to go to Calgary, but I did find something very cool over there. For 50 bucks, I scored this. Let's lean it up against here. I found a four barrel intake manifold for a big block Chrysler. So it'll work on the tiny house trucks 361 engine. So I was thinking that we're not gonna drive the tiny house very much at all. So it would be helpful for it to have as much power as possible for going up hills and stuff with its big, not very aerodynamic body. So a four barrel intake manifold would be great for it. Maybe we'll use the, the thermo quad or something else. I'm not really sure. Now, actually, uh, my wife didn't see this, but right before I left, I found another intake manifold, a four barrel intake manifold for, it would have been great for the Dodge van. It's for a small block Mopar, but, and it didn't say sold on it or anything, but I asked the guy, it is for a small block Mopar. He said, oh, somebody just bought this. There oh. he is right now and he was coming back. I was like, oh man, and that one is also pretty cheap, like 50 bucks. So that's a bit of a drag, but we're gonna go to another one in Saskatoon and I'm in no rush to collect these parts. Just keep collecting stuff and then eventually I can, you know, upgrade the cars. Uh, actually, the guy who was selling this one, he even had like a nice, uh, an even some even nicer ones, like an aluminum one, but the aluminum ones are for like racy stuff. It was like 200 bucks and this one's like 50 bucks and the truck weighs like, you know, five tons. So who cares about the weight? Uh, one last little thing I found is that I have a vice, but I found this little mini vice and I couldn't pass this up for 20 bucks. So helpful is to have a little mini vice. So pretty happy with that. But yeah, pretty good. First swap meet, guys. We're going to do the one in Saskatoon in another couple weeks. And I guess we'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye for now.